stone colony from under a, a, a rock in a little cliffside stream. Uh, and then we have some other stone as well. And I do have a chunk in my bundle that I promised to give to John. Um, but my bundle was sealed after a, uh, an experience a number of years ago. Uh, my bundle was sealed and put up in a tree to stay there over the winter. And it's still sealed uh, because I didn't feel I was ready for it again. And because I, um, I have the conviction that once I open my bundle again, that I'm super, super committed to this way to walk in the red road. And I'm ready now. So all I'm going to do is get people like you, the tobacco, the same on two, to, to come with their pipes. So when I have my bundle opening, uh, I'll have the pipe carriers here helping me. And uh, uh, two of them, uh, two males, two females for balance. And the two males that are coming to help me open are the two that put it up in the tree place. So uh, I'm really looking forward to sometime soon, as John said, it's a very busy time here, but gathering my four plate carriers coming to my home to uh, the ceremony with me, open this bundle, get my stone out, make my life. And uh, I have to give John stone I promised him so many years ago, as soon as it gets that sealed. Anyway, that's uh, what I have to share <coughs> about pipe, because uh, I have my stone. Now I need to carve it. And um, Mr. LaFord is going to be so kind as to supply me with my stem. And she may have a show in this thing. I'll be sure to be in this edition of class, Makwad Olam. I'm here today. Uh, my mother sits on uh, my right. Um, when we see a flyer there from uh, John LaFord inviting the people to come to see, you know, to do the ceremony for the uh, missing, murdered Indigenous woman and then acknowledgement to others that have gone uh, missing. Uh, my mother uh, said very much she wanted to come to the ceremony because they'll be drumming in that. and. Uh, so today, uh, come and support. Uh, I myself uh, was at an earlier meeting, um, irrespective of uh, whether I physically uh, brought a, a pogan or a daywagon here. Um, I'm told that, uh, you know, uh, our stuff follows us wherever we go when we carry our items. And, uh, you know, uh, they look after themselves and they look after us as well. And so as far as uh, the ceremony to support, uh, I know sometimes there are other uh, ceremonies where there may have a lot of uh, people there that come and bring their items like, you know, pogans and their, uh, their bundles, pshkiki bundles and their uh, miguans and uh, madewagans and uh, all of that. But uh, like John said, people uh, have other commitments or it's just the way it is the way it is meant to be. And so as long as we have one here, he's loading that pipe and uh, he's making a prayer here today. He's put the four colors out there, the flags and, uh, you know, whatever has brought him to uh, be moved to uh, do a ceremony of prayer for uh, the uh, missing, uh, murdered indigenous woman. There's been elder, other elders as well and I'll refer, refer to John as an elder because he probably is uh, older than myself, so I have to respect him. Young elder. Young yeah, young elder. elder. He yes. says he's a junior elder, but <laughs> anyways, I have to acknowledge the uh, elders like the ones that are older than me. The, uh, you know, no more than myself. And so, uh, you know, there's been other elders that have done ceremonies um, and other people, and it's an ongoing, ongoing process. And every prayer, counts, every prayer is powerful, and so for that, um, you know, my mom has wanted very much to be here, and so we're here today, and pray for other people, too, and I've been, I've been told the pipe is for the people, and uh, there's uh, a lot of times, you know, somebody may give tobacco to somebody to ask for prayer, and sometimes it may not be that, uh, you know, they've somebody specifically never asked for prayer, but, you know, think about all those people in need, uh, 
you know, the elders to go a long way, and those that are suffering, the sick, and those that are uh, having truly hard times, physical, emotional, spiritual, mental. Aha, uh -huh. miigwech. We're at the Native Friendship Center in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. song by Diane and other Diane. We've got two Dianes here. We'll have the, some songs, pipe songs, smudging, We're smudging with the drums and, and the pipes. Yep. John just finished his piece today. We're honoring also the fact that we have live streaming on, on this. We're, we're, we're live streaming this because of our work. we're embracing technology as it is today. It, it, uh, how fast uh, uh, communications and mass media and stuff like that goes up into the, into the world. And that's the same with the, the, the pipes. We like the pipes. We're, Calling on the grandfathers, we're calling on the Michelle's, Michelle's are all of them to, to uh, you know, uh, shed some light on the, on the issue, shed some light on uh, what's happening worldwide uh, for for uh, missing and murdered women and children and men world world worldwide, especially uh, you know even in you know, war torn areas of the country. We have a lot of missing people. So, carry on carry with the song. Okay, just to let you know, those of you who won't be familiar with this, Diane and I are going to sing the Strong Woman song first, uh, in honor of, of the women, okay. the Quayup. And um, uh, just a little quick piece of history. This song, the Strong Woman song, was given to a woman in the Kingston Penitentiary at the time that there was a riot. And uh, as these women all picked up the song and sang the song, they, they remained safe. And this is where this song came from. And I, I guess that was a real strong woman. So here we go. Oops.
women are warriors also. And this is for our ancestors. It's an ancestral song. And uh, way away, yes.
actually Gary Stevens, like all those people were coming to my mind when I was, especially right. Gary, yeah. because he always sang the Rainbow Warrior song, and he always wanted the Rainbow Warrior. Oh, yeah. So yes, I was the first one that he sang. I remember when I first met Francis and her daughters, that's the first song they ever played. Yeah, I'm glad you guys are all here because I thought uh, that's, you know, taking part in the pipe ceremony. Um, I've, been to, I've been to a lot of pipe ceremonies and uh, to music for various ideas and stuff. And that's what we're doing. And, you know, a lot of it, uh, sometimes you can't tell them this, you can't tell them that. And, uh, but we have a very knowledgeable film director here, Shanger. He's done this before, and, uh, and he did that kind of stuff. He knows uh, the things about it. And we're doing it in a good way. And we're doing it in a good way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's, that's a good thing. In the summertime, uh, a lot of people are out doing a lot of stuff. They're out camping and, and on the land. And, uh, you, know, uh, 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 you know, pray that they uh, you know, have a good, good summer. Blueberries are going to come up pretty soon. Blueberries. <laughs> and a lot of uh, swimming and a lot of boating and those kind of things. Those are very natural things that, that, that people do <coughs> in the summertime. You know? and, um, and, um, I have uh, like a lot of uh, stories that I could you know, relate. Uh, about you know about ceremonies and about the legends and stories of uh, you know the, the people that, uh, as we think of the missing and murdered indigenous women and in the United States and the world and the children and and uh, uh, the men and um, I have uh, a few. Uh, Missing family members in my family, and they have never been found. But uh, we'll pray that they get found, and, uh, and that's all we can do. And ask the Creator to guide us in all these things, to guide us that we live, uh, we live uh, you know, uh, together with uh, you know everybody in uh, peace. And uh, that's what it's all. That's what it's all about. Up to, uh, to, to, to the grandfathers. We got the four sacred colors here, uh, the, the black, the, uh, the red, the yellow, and the white. Even uh, the, the, the colors themselves represent for various races, uh, the, white, the white man, the uh, you know, European, yellow for uh, Japanese, I think, Asians, and uh, Red for natives, blacks, black for black people, for the black people. And uh, I think uh, the four directions colors too represent the four directions. Uh, black, I think, is west. You think it's black? Yeah, it's black. Red is, uh, is, uh, is. South. Is it south? Yeah. South. Uh, Yellow is uh, is Jalan, Jalan, South. Yeah, yeah, South. And the white is for the North. Yeah. North. You know that, right? Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, no, the North. Yeah. And then the yellow is Wabana. Yeah, yellow is Wabana, the East, the Eastern direction. Four sacred colors. After we do the ceremony, we'll take the six, the sacred fire. Uh, burnt that, that the fire along with tobacco. Tobacco is very important among native people. It's been used to, to uh, especially uh, when on a long journey, sometimes you want to go across the lake, you have to put down your tobacco first before you go across the lake. 
Or you want to have uh, happy hunting, good hunting, but down in tobacco. Tobacco, which was given to us by the Creator. The creator gave us all these things for, for that purpose. Not only for smoking, <laughs> you know, uh, and uh, there's people that are allowed to smoke and uh, those kind of things. There's a uh, uh, a native ceremony for allowing people to smoke cigarettes, tobacco, if you want to smoke it. And, um, and we have tobaccos all over the world. Tobacco, they touch tobaccos. And uh, send tobacco you know, to, uh, to, to people, to places. Oh, yes. Yes, that is good. Something else in. All right. I'll go this way like I'm supposed to. Yeah, I'm going to get back. Yeah. I mean, bonjour. Again, it's me, Ben. I'm a big club, and she does. Nice and good. Just a little bit about what John was saying about tobacco. Um, that the creator gave it to us. But not in this form, of course. Um, <laughs> And uh, traditional, and John, of course, could tell you this as well, but he's got a lot on his mind. Traditionally, um, tobacco didn't look like it does today. Uh, and there were many different plants from Chicago Mother Earth, that were used as, as tobacco to, uh, to hold our herbs and to, uh, to put into thick fires. Uh, to send prayers up to Creator, uh, and Megazan, the eagle, will, will take those prayers that you, you put into that tobacco and bring up to Creator's ear. And um, so there is a, a blend of plants that are in this area, uh, is known as kinniginic, and uh, you will get the little the little green uh, leaves that, that grow almost like a ground cover called bearberry, and you'll also cedar and red willow and uh, uh, I've seen oak leaves, different things in the community, uh, which is really the first tobacco. So we do use uh, commercially grown tobacco nowadays because it's, you know, first of all, you need to know which plants make up the, the uh, original uh, Mishnabe tobacco to, you know, and then of course there's the ceremony for picking them where you have to offer your them on the tobacco in order to pick the stem on. So um, anyhow, it's a process. So uh, it's just much easier to go to the store and pick the tobacco and smudge it and use it. But uh, that's that's my teaching so far on tobacco and anything. Uh, and uh, we say do everything with your stem on. Everything with stem on. And then you're going to be able to walk the red road pretty confidently and with a lot of help from the Creator and from our ancestors and from the fire spirit and from Shkafna that we're honoring this way and using this in other way it's meant to be. Uh, we're going to be a lot of help. And uh, for this and for these teachings and for the great gift of this uh, of this uh, is this Sema, one of the four sacred medicines, the four main sacred medicines that are recognized, which is your tobacco, your salmon, I don't know all the words, but your cedar, your sweet grass, and your um, sage, and your four main, but there's a lot of many, 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 many other medicines. But uh, the teachings I have about uh, salmon, so far in my life. Okay, I'd like to send out a greeting to all those uh, um, um, live streamers that are watching right now on live TV uh, around the world. Send out a special greeting to them right now, saying hello. And I hope uh, you know that uh, we will, uh, we'll think uh, you know, all the good thoughts and positive thoughts uh, as we send this, uh, these prayers out to the grandfathers. Prayers are being sent out to the grandfathers to just 
for, for healing, for health, for, for all these, uh, these cares that we have in this world. And, uh, and um, the, the, uh, the smoke or the tobacco will carry our prayers to the Creator. And we'll give thanks to the Creator, we'll give thanks to all of the shows, uh, the grandfathers, we're sending a uh, voice out to the grandfather. Start in the east, and, uh, where the sun rises in the morning, where we send our daily prayers up to the Creator. And then, we, and then we'll go around to the south, where the, the warm air blows. And uh, we'll go back and we'll go to the west, where the sun sets and ends our day. And we'll go to the north, to the north, uh, where the cold snow grandfather uh, healer lives aware the great polar bear and we you know we go to that direction these directions we, we, we send out to the sky people we send them uh, a the, the message to the sky people we send a message from the earth the earth and the water the water that, uh, that, we, that, we, that we use that we drink and, uh, and, um, very, uh, very, uh, very uh, privileged to be able to, uh, to be able to sit here and, and do these things today. After after all these years, I'm 61 years old now myself. It's taken me 60 years to do this far, and, uh, and um, I've been uh, I've been asked to do many things for for, for our people. And I've, uh, um, I've uh, recorded and painted many stories and legends of our people, uh, 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 the, the great Earth, the great Ojibwe people. Uh, we try not to, uh, you know, um, we try to be as humble as we can as we live in this world, this life, and uh, walk the red path with, with uh, you know, humble heart. Light the pipe pretty soon. It's already been uh, been an hour since we've been here, and um, and, uh, and uh, we'll think about you know, what. So are you oh yeah, the pipe carriers that are out there right now that are smoking their pipes and doing the same thing I'm doing right here. Um, um, we thank them for, for that. For that. For that. Diane, you want to say anything? Diane, okay. did you want to did you want to sing the song again? I can give you a four directional Jim Boy song. Okay. All right. All right. Okay, we're gonna light the pipe. Now. The tobacco I gave you, get this, I'll put it in, in the bowl there.
directions to come in, and our grandfathers, Wabanoma Shomas, to come in and help us, promote us in our prayers. songs that we just heard, the beautiful songs are incredibly beautiful songs. And uh, songs are uh, very uh, like prayers to the Creator. And, uh, you know, um, when, you're, uh, when you have uh, serenity and, and peace, you can uh, almost fall asleep. You see a lot, sometimes your aunts and our grandfathers are falling asleep at the ceremony. That's a sign of serenity and peace. Uh -huh. We need serenity and peace in this world. That's why we like the pipe. And uh, so we always behold forever the red and purple sunset. Chief, uh, Chief from out west there said that, that prayer. And uh, oh great spirit, he sent that prayer out there. Chief Dan George was guy said that prayer. It's always been a good prayer. This uh, concludes our ceremony for, for the indigenous missing women and children and men. And, um, and we'll have other things later on coming up probably through a live stream uh, on this, on the, whatever what we're doing here on the following up, following up. Uh, you know, uh, I'm uh, doing this to give strength to our 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 people, to give strength to our people that live uh, you know, live this life. They're hearing these things that are going on, you know, uh, and, uh, and all these things are in the hands of the Creator. All these things that are, are given, given to the Creator to uh, to uh, make sense of all the the stuff, make sense of things that are, that are happening in the world. So, um, hopefully we'll have, have somebody. Miigwech. Miigwech. Miigwech.
anywhere. When are you traveling song? Yeah, I do the traveling song. Yes, traveling song. I don't know. You know what? It's not just whatever. <laughs> Finish this today. Refreshing. So instantly archive, and I also put it on my D Shanger YouTube account channel. And we're at the Indian Friendship Center in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. John the Ford. We like to say yar a lot for some strange reason. Yar. Yeah. <laughs> See, told you. <laughs> Thanks for coming, eh? That was, uh, yeah. Yeah. You guys are what makes the ceremony. What's lateral? What does lateral mean? Zero tolerance for lateral violence. Oh, lateral. I thought it was lateral. Sorry. Guided by the principles of the seven grandfather teachings. Oh, yeah. 
in the Friendship Centre. It's who St. Marie staff, board directors and volunteers are committed to creating and maintaining an honest, trust, trusting and safe environment that is free of lateral violence. Sorry, I, I, I pronounce it lateral. Nice smudge. This is the logo for here. Indian Friendship Center of Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario. Not to be confused, because it's a border town, but Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. It's Sault Ste. Marie is in Northern Ontario. It's equidistant to three uh, Great Lakes, Lake Superior, Lake Michigan, and Lake Huron. Georgian Bay Area. That's right. Right at the down at uh Ooh, and some nice snacks. Ooh. at the um, annual general membership meeting right now and those are nominees for board of directors At the end, just before this, at the end of the general membership meeting, there's a really nice feast. This is extremely important at any Native or Indian Friendship Center. Very, very important. There's another John LaFord from last year. It's one of his here mm -hmm. just to let people out there who who don't have a lot of dwagon or drum teachings mm -hmm. uh, we wear skirts when we're around the sacred fire or around sacred items and we like to to um, wrap and cocoon our drum drums our dwagon in a skirt is there any particular fabric for the drum i noticed you have some cotton red cotton oh, i there. have red felt and I'll only felt. because it's red and red is sacred and you know, I happen to have that big of a piece of felt to wrap it in, just to honor it and protect it. And there, now my, now my dwagon's all cozy. And it is, a, and that I thank you for that because it is a worldwide audience, and it, mm -hmm. a lot of people are interested worldwide mm -hmm. in First Nations issues of Turtle Island, and it, 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 it's just a little drum education for you. That that you know, the skirt is to protect and uh, comfort and cocoon. The dwagon until her voice is needed again. And then you have a nice bag usually. Well, that I you don't, put it in. But I will. However, nice. I, I, I just justify this because those are two of my colors, brown and black. So I'll say that's my nice. that's my drum bag. That's my colors. Someday I'll have another drum bag. Nice. Yeah. And and uh, what what type of uh, skin is that? This is nice. Mm -hmm. Um, and my my rim. Is, uh, was gifted to me. It's uh, red western cedar. Nice. From Kelly. John? John? No. Kelly made my rim. Oh, and Bev gifted me with my with my drum mm -hmm. rim. And then um, uh, I actually had uh, Leo Binda, one of our elders, and uh, he's, a, he's a pipe carrier and a fire keeper and uh, just uh, a man who really walks this way every day of his life. And I got to finish my drum with uh, some moose hide that you can, and uh, in a little drum workshop, I got to uh, take my my rim and cover it with a nice strong moose hide. And moose is a very uh, strong hide. Mm -hmm. um, this is my drum that I use for, uh, particularly in this wet lodge, because it's it's uh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's 
residents. That, yeah, the residents for one, and also it's durable. And um, I've been told that this, this drum does have a strong voice. And it gets pretty hot in those sweat lodges. It does. But this is a strong voice drum. So um, when, well, out of respect, but for all Dwagon, Dwagon, um, you know, they should be treated respectfully. But to my way of feeling, this is a special drum for for ceremony. And I do have a, also a deer hide drum. That's more for mm -hmm. if you're going to be rehearsing, learning songs, or, or doing a little exhibition out in mm -hmm. the public or something, I'll use the deer hide. This one is to me very special. And you're also a pipe carrier? I will be a pipe carrier. This is my bundle which has been sealed as I explained earlier. Mm -hmm. um, and my stone is in there. It called me so I picked it up. And uh, the, as I said there's also some stone in there when John and I went picking stone that uh, I, I uh, promised him. He's waited so long. So are you doing redstone? No sir. We got the obsidian, the Ojibwe. Ooh. Yeah, the uh, Nishnabe stone, the black stone. Nice. And I believe that's what my pipe is meant to be, is a black stone and, uh, you know, just some some of the stone that I picked, I've offered to John. He's been very patient because my bundle's been sealed, but it will be open soon. Nice. And I get to see all my items that are calling me, the feathers and the stone and all of that in there. And now I will, uh, now that I feel I'm ready, I'm going to walk this wave with, with intent and purpose every day. Mm -hmm. And remind our worldwide audience your name and your uh, First Nations. Uh... Okay, my name is Diane. Uh, I guess we don't need last names, but anyhow, there, my name is Diane. My spirit name is Crow Woman. I'm from the Eagle Clan. And my blood is uh, West Coast Haida, which backs a couple of generations. So I don't have a, the lineage, a genealogy, but it's there. And uh, this is my adoptive territory. So. Uh, I, I'm not in Anishinaabe Kwe, but I'm, I'm in vibrating in harmony with Anishinaabe people. Megwitch and Yar, or I was on Mi'kmaq territory, and they say Taho. Ah, and they also say Angela. You ready for this? Wawalan. Wawalan. Yes. Aha, uh -huh, yes. we just learned that. I got this from a Mi'kmaq. Uh, vendor at mm -hmm. the powwow at uh, the the Bachelorana powwow. I didn't. Uh, my friend purchased it for me at the. Uh, oh, see, we got my semi in there. We're gonna leave it in there. Got tangled in the in the eagle down. But uh, this was from an, uh, a Mi'kmaq artist who mm -hmm. does the powwow trail, and it's it's agate. So when I saw them, I said, Oh, agate. Are you from the North Shore? Of course. She said, No, um, Mi'kmaq here from Nova Scotia on the powwow trail. And this egg, it's from there, with a little bit of eagle yes. down. And t two years ago, I was on Elsa Booktug for eight months. I'm invited there by the clan mothers and the warrior chief to help stop fracking, which we did. And what? so I learned a lot. They say Taho, like for everything. Just it's, it's like saying like Yar. Yahoo. You know? Well, Wallen. Well, Wallen is thank, thank you. you. When I said Mi'kmaq like to her, yeah. she said Wawalan, and so I learned a Mi'kmaq. Boy, word. did I laugh a lot! And hey. we sing a lot of Mi'kmaq songs in this particular area because yeah. I guess some of our uh, Dwagon carriers and singers have ties there and learn a lot. Well, their a lot honor of them. song is yes. legendary. All of their oh. songs are beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. They're so Chimigwitch Wawalan, all the all you Mi'kmaq. <laughs> and yar to everyone in Elsa Book Club. Yar from Shanger. Yar. <laughs> yeah, we met you at that medical conference yesterday, invited them, and I'm so glad you came. Yeah, I was at the Iceman conference, and that's that why I'm up Iceman, in that territory. I don't, no, no. Uh, it's Indigenous Conference for uh, Community Engagement and Medical Education in the North. Awesome. It's a pretty long name. Are you a medical student? Uh, no, I work for a medical school down, down oh, south. Yeah. Yeah. Hope, hopefully, it'll be a medical student one day, but until then, awesome. I'll do some work. You're absorbing it all in the yeah, meantime. Yeah, right on, Adrian. Yeah. And I try to, so pleased to have you here. I try to get involved with the communities when I'm, when I'm in different territories. So. Excellent. So I was glad that somebody invited me to this. It's a great conference. We were there all afternoon. John was there and yeah. a few others selling the paintings. And I, I think it's really good uh, for, you know, First Nations medicine and getting the word out. And well, they're getting a lot of great minds together to uh, 
alleviate some of the issues, solve some of the problems, and uh, come up with this innovative ways to engage the community, right? And do medical education. Now, how much is, because it's medical doctors, how much of the spiritual healing and medicine men aspect and spirituality of First Nations is integrated that varies, into that? That varies from medical school to medical school and uh, individual to individual. So um, it just that's a big question. It depends depends yeah. on who you're talking to. Um, our school, uh, we don't really have that yet, but that's why I'm in that position to try and um, try to create those partnerships and get that understanding. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you, Adrian. Thank you. And thank you very much for coming out. No and you got the address, and you can watch this in the archives. Oh, yeah. yeah, I got that. And, and my D. Shanger YouTube channel, I'll also upload it to that. Okay. And feel free to download it. Yep. Feel free to put it on any website. Share it. Yeah. Yep. Sure. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, and my name is D. Shanger. Um, now, just so FYI, so people know, um, it's an important footnote in this. You're not allowed to live stream or photograph pipe ceremonies, but John LaFord is an elder and a legendary native artist. Him and Clan Mother Bear did ask special permission from the chief of Botswana First Nations here in Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, which is an Ojibwe territory. Uh, the chief Dean Sires for special permission for me to live stream it. So that's why you're able to watch this pipe ceremony. Okay, Yar, Chimikwich, Wawalan, Yar. Okay, thank you for tuning in, and Yar. And it's rainy. Yar, hello. It's over. It's yeah, over. of course, of course. Yeah. I guess it didn't last very long. No. Nope.